This video will change your relationship life completely and will teach you exactly how to deal with people like a gentleman who has self-respect and dignity and self-worth. As a young child, I never knew what exactly it meant to be a gentleman and whether that was a good thing or not because a lot of people in the modern day and in the modern age tell us that being a gentleman is like a simp. Being a gentleman is essentially being a simp and that it's a bad thing and that it shows that you're needy and that women and people don't actually like it. But I never knew exactly how to deal with people the right way and how to essentially make eye contact with them and be generous and be kind and be charismatic and confident because I was always thinking about whether I was looking like a simp or like someone out of the ordinary. As a young child, I was always afraid of taking that path that nobody was taking and I was always fearful of and doubtful of simply being myself and that was a mistake that I had to learn was false. I had to learn that 99% of people and more, almost 100% of people that I see in my life are completely and utterly unsuccessful and are people I don't want to be like or associate with, which is why I should not imitate in my own actions and in my own beliefs. So I had to realize that and I realized that being a gentleman is one of the most important things, not only with deal, not only when it comes to dealing with women and relationships, but also when it comes to just dealing with random friendships and regular talks with with people, even men just like you and I. So there are so there are three steps that I'm going to speak about in order to how to exactly become a gentleman, and the first step is essentially being kind and generous. So it's generosity and kindness now generosity is a very important concept that all gentlemen have and it's essentially like tipping the waitress an extra buck or giving or essentially paying for the date paying for the hangout paying for the fees paying for whatever you're going out with uh, when you invite them, you have to pay for them. You have to be generous enough to pay for them because you're the one who invited them. But in most cases, you want to actually initiate attempting to pay for someone because it shows how kind you actually are and how generous you are. Now, if they say, no, no, like I'm going to pay, then uh, try to insist that you're going to pay. But if, if they persist, then sure, let them pay. But always initiate the attempting to pay for them. I know a lot of guys might be broke for this, but I think you can save up enough money in order to be able to pay for a few drinks every now and then. Or I think you can work a couple more jobs, but it's important to imitate this and to become a gentleman because being a gentleman is rev because being a gentleman fully revolves around the fact that you have to be generous and kind to people. Now, this also means that you must be kind with your words and with your actions and do not be, simply be disrespectful or derogatory to anyone for no reason. Do not argue with anyone at all because arguments make you seem like you're less of a man and you seem like you're getting emotional. You should never show emotions as a man to other people. And so you have to always be stoic and masculine. And if you, if you want uh, to... If you want to respond to someone who just disrespected you, for instance, then we will head straight to tip two, because actually the second point in order to become a gentleman is that you must have self-respect and dignity. Now, a lot of people do not understand the concept of self-respect and dignity, but essentially it is when you respect yourself to the point where you do not let anybody disrespect you or be contemptuous towards you because you simply have so much high standards for the people that you speak to. And if anybody says anything disrespectful to you, you should be offended, bro. A lot of people look at people who get offended as a bad thing, but actually being offended shows that you have self-respect. So it's an important thing to get offended in the first place. Now, do not act emotionally once you get once you get offended. Do not simply just lash out and start screaming or yelling in public. What you what you must do is that you must reply to them stoically and give them a very powerful short response that plunges through their hearts and their souls and to teaches them not to actually mess with you again. And I can give you an example for a response like that. For example, you could tell them, 
This is the first and last time I ever see you do this or I ever hear you say this. This is the first and last time I ever hear you say this. Now this is a very powerful response because uh, it shows that you actually respect yourself and while still not getting emotionally impulsive and that's very important because it shows that you actually are a strong and masculine character and it shows that you might be threatening them under that short and small sentence that you just said which shows a lot of power as well. And if you say this to a woman, you really put her back in her place if she said something disrespectful to you. Even if you say this to a man, bro, usually you put them back in their place. Now, if they act aggressive with like actual physical harm, then you should actually beat them up. You should actually defend yourself physically as well. Do not let anybody assault you physically or even verbally. So yeah, this is the way you respond to them essentially and you must have dignity for yourself, you must have integrity. These are the values of a gentleman. Now the third point is to simply not be needy or greedy and to simply act out of options and out of having options rather than out of scarcity. And that's very important because a lot of people, a lot of times, especially with women, people act uh, people act out of scarcity and start to show that they have no options, that they're not actually as high value as they claim. And that's very bad because it shows that the woman has no point in investing in you and that person has no point in investing your, in your into your business deal. And so you must always sell yourself properly and do not let anybody do not let anybody think down upon you because the, that will show through their actions towards you as well and it will, it will make them more disrespectful and derogatory towards you. So you need to be very smart with this. You need to show that you actually have a lot of options and that you're not afraid of losing them as a customer or as a partner or whatever it is. Uh, being a gentleman applies to so many different situations not just with dating like it, it applies to so many different things so including business so you need to realize that and you need to never let anybody stand in your way when it comes to the mindset of options you need to always have that in your mind that I have options, I do. I am not afraid of losing this customer, I'm not afraid of losing this person because I know that I can always hop right into the next person and that's very attractive. That shows a lot of dignity as well and a lot of the values of that high value masculine man. I hope you enjoyed that bro, I hope that video helped you and thank you for watching.